Hi, and today we're gonna to talk about the difficult calling. We've all been there. That person who's so irritating wants to argue about everything. You're probably wondering what to do about it. Well, you're lucky because we have Prakash Mani here with lots of good tips and advice. Prakash, tell us, what should we do? Thank you, Nadia. And indeed, we have all been there. We all have had an experience with a challenging colleague or two at some point in our career. What I would say is don't suffer and do nothing. We spend a significant part of our life in the working environment and it's important to take proactive steps to create a positive environment all around us. Start by appreciating the different personalities, the different cultures, and how individuals are different. Appreciate that different people have different pressures on them, and their reaction to pressures is, is different from others. Start to build an appreciation of that. Remember, in a working environment, there is always an element of competition but there is also always an element of common goals and a collaborative effort to reach those common goals. Focus and focus hard on the latter part, but be sensitive about the competition. When you're building bridges, try and understand the nature of your colleagues' contribution to your success. Are they a key contributor to a piece of work that you deliver? Or are they the recipient of pieces of work that you deliver? Or are they just someone from another team who interacts with you occasionally? Build your relationships and your importance based on a clear understanding. Get different perspectives from other colleagues in terms of personalities and how you handle situations. Remember, always, be nice, be positive, and have an attitude to reach out and build bridges. There is nothing wrong in having a sensitive and informal conversation over a coffee or in a meeting room with a colleague whom you find challenging. It's an approach that a lot of times sharing of views in an informal environment can build bridges. If all of these two fail, don't be afraid to take it up to the management, but always start with your management before you go out to someone else's management. And, and that's very important. Uh, be very objective. And remember, it's your boss before their boss. These are some simple tips. Do try them, see how you get on. Good luck with increasing the positivity in your working environment. Well, thanks, Prakash. I hope that's going to be helpful to a lot of people, and I have a feeling it will. Bye for now.